When analysing the issues of the Go Best policy system, it is important to consider four key perspectives. These are the business, technological, information and solutions perspectives. GoBest suffered from a very harsh scope creep affecting all perspectives. However, on the business level, it was due to many stakeholders requiring features outside of GoBest's capabilities. Because of this scope creep, coupled with poor implementation from lacking employee commitment, a lot of tasks had to be completed manually, causing profit loss due to deficiency. One major external factor hindering the company was the market. The market was evolving into a new era of digitally focused insurance companies with much better policy systems. These newer systems allow competitors to lower prices out competing a fair. On the technological perspective, we can see the scope creep coupled with the complexity prevented troubleshooting the system even though it often produced inconsistent outputs. This resulted in a plague of unmanageable defects further causing system bottlenecks. Due to the complexity, it was difficult to train new employees despite the fact that there existed no change management team to either train employees or oversee the migration of the new system. Some of these issues also affected the information perspective. As the system was criminally outdated, newer information required to be processed either would be slow or wouldn't process at all. Furthermore, the system complexity partially slowed the information flow throughout the entire system. Finally, the existing employee inexperience added with the fact that the subsequently implemented systems, such as the sales system, were poorly integrated, further reduced the system's inefficiency. This poor implementation and prioritization of GoBest resulted in a rush solution with lacking fluidity unnecessarily complicating the entire process. Additionally, some managers preferred clumsily finishing the project over developing a new project due to a high resulting financial loss from project cancellation. This mostly prevented new solutions, however there was one notable attempt. Gothea experimented with a new product management system but ultimately failed due to a complex and confusing graphical user interface. The table shows Porter's five forces analysis. For traditional rivals, Gopher is currently the eighth biggest insurance company in Germany, and with the market stagnating, everything is going digital. The implications is price and market share competition. IS can be used to combat this, an ERP system to improve resource management, a system to improve automation, reduce manual tasks, and then reduce costs, online system for better customer service. Threat of new entrants has implications of reduced market share and price. To combat this, an online system will help reach more customers. Also, a system to improve processes and automation to reduce costs. There are no substitute products or suppliers for insurance companies. Customer bargaining power is currently affected by online price comparison sites, resulting in reduced prices. IS can combat this with a system that optimizes price and an online system that provides better customer service. McFarland's strategic grid assesses the current and future portfolio of the business to evaluate whether its operation and strategic interests are aligned. The high potential grid ensures that features and requirements are being well formulated and used for their intended purposes rather than being categorised incorrectly, causing frustration. The support grid displays how management changes, such as improving employees' morale within the workplace by offering further training options and including employees in potential project meetings, as well as seeking their opinions on current projects to ensure that employees are invested and committed in the projects. The strategic grid focuses on the biggest issue of technology being outdated, causing efficiency to drop. By replacing the old system with a new high-end system that is able to be kept simple but also integrated with more functionality and usability that is easily accepted. The key operational grid shows how with the promise of new IT, the company will be able to cut costs that are being allocated incorrectly. With the significant increase in an IT budget, external resources will be used so that future success is guaranteed due to the process and the business being automated. The value chain analyzes the organization so that opportunities for improvement are identified. The primary activities that can be improved are the system where automation and functionality are greatly included, as well as keeping the system simple to avoid issues, these surrounding inbound logistics and operations, as well as offering better contract options for consumers and increasing usability to guarantee sales and improve service would be very beneficial. The outbound logistics of the business should involve a review of project scopes for current and future projects to ensure company growth. Supporting activities such as including employees in more decisions and allowing their opinions to be heard, as well as offering further training options and support to improve human resource and administrative areas. The development of new technology to decrease costs and increase functionality 
as well as the improvement of resource management are all areas that future development can be identified. A strategy map works by creating a foundation of objectives which will help to supplement the objectives to follow. Got Hire's objectives will be established based on the previously conducted strategic analysis. These objectives will be categorized by perspective, with the perspectives being learning and growth, internal business, customer and financial. The value adding process begins with the learning and growth perspective, where Got Hire will focus on improving employees' skills and morale, while also improving the system's capabilities. By meeting these learning and growth objectives, Got Hire will be able to progress with their internal business perspective objectives. Through these internal business objectives, Got Hire will be looking to improve business processes. By meeting these objectives, they will be able to provide customers with better products more efficiently. Not only that, but by providing better products to the customers by meeting these objectives, Got Hire will be able to achieve their customer-based objectives. These customer-based objectives are put in place to ensure Got Hire is able to form and maintain strong customer relationships. By forming stronger customer relationships with both new and existing customers, Got Hire will be able to cater to a broader market, thus reducing overall risk that comes from certain customer segments. Additionally, these improved customer relations will provide Got Hire with a pathway to achieve their financial objectives. Now, as Got Hire is a business, their final goal is to meet these financial objectives. However, as mentioned, this is only achievable by first meeting their foundational learning and growth objectives and working their way through each of the business's perspectives. To ensure Got Hire is meeting their objectives, the strategy map provides multiple measurement indicators that feature realistic targets. For example, the customer perspective will look to increase Got Hire's customer satisfaction score by 32%, which if done, indicates that they have successfully improved customer relationships. And finally, the strategy map boasts an action plan that features various initiatives to be completed. The purpose of these initiatives is to give Got Hire a method to complete their objectives. It is important to note, however, that some initiatives can provide value to multiple objectives across different perspectives. An example of this featured in the strategy map is the initiative to implement automated systems. By conducting all of these initiatives, Got Hire should be able to complete each of their objectives. Here present is Gothia's current business model. To begin, I will be outlining the customer segments, industry, commerce, and private. Gothia's value propositions aim to provide optimized premiums for the commerce segment, provide risk coverage, cost reduction, and other such propositions which are shown in the model. The company can be reached by these four channel methods and customer relationships are established through personal assistance, but very slightly depending on customer segment. Commerce and private segments, although require personal assistance, many automated services are provided to them. However, sorry, however, with industry and commerce segments, dedicated personnel services are required as a more contract review process is involved. Revenue streams are also segment dependent as individual products are sold to the industry segment. Modular products are sold to the commerce segment and pre-assembled products are sold to the private segment. Gothea's key resources, aka the assets, are the staff, technology, infrastructure, the GoBest policy system, and their finances. Key activities include minimizing costs within the company, legal services, loss control, and risk management. Key partnerships that make the business model work are the stakeholders, clients, service providers, and channel distribution partners, just to name a few. Furthermore, the cost structure involves the following, such as maintenance and in sorry, administration costs. Although GoFair aims to provide their customer segment with the utmost value, it has been difficult to achieve this using the current business model and therefore a revised model has been created for the potential usage in the future. The following changes I propose are software providers, external developers and system integrators as this will contribute to cost reduction and enhance the important value propositions such as quality products and automization within the company through services and processes. Due to the failure of the GoBest project, Gofra has learnt many lessons from different perspectives of business, information, solution and technology, which are reviewing the project scope for business and technical aspects as objectives can change over time as businesses grow. Keep the system technology up to date so that it can run effectively. Decide on features in the planning phase, not testing phase. Keep the solution simple for easy use so that issues and bugs can be found. Test the solution to check for bugs and issues and fix these issues. Train employees to use the system effectively. When adding new features, check that they are working flawlessly together. For the future, Gopher has decided to implement a new system to fix the current issues. They have chosen to go with an external solution due to the distrust with employees who created the in-house solution. Gopher is now going to review the five different solutions applications and choose a new solution to implement. 
Thank you for listening.